Okay, some guys had a little trouble understanding exactly what I was doing. God knows that happens to me a lot. So here we go. What you're going to do is start out, we're going to do the American this time. Little fella right here. This is pretty good. I didn't know these, but these are actually styrene. And uh, they come in part, believe it or not. The helmet pops off. So what we're going to do is take this guy apart. Not real difficult. All right, we've got the little guy apart. Now on the back of these two assemblies, oops, these two assemblies right here, there's going to be some uh, alignment pegs. You just need to use your Dremel tool, motor tool, whatever you got. Get rid of them, smooth this out. You want this area real smooth here and here. Now, when you pop the head off, all right, it's going to have a uh, old like a cone at the bottom. You're going to need to file that real flat. I wanted to leave this little strap on because I think that's a neat detail. I really like that. And the helmet pops off. You can tell this guy wasn't too smart. He didn't have no brain. Oh well, we'll see, we'll see if we can fix him up. And the arms, the arms snap right off. No big deal there. We'll get to those here soon. No big deal. All right. Next we'll do some assembly. All right. Let's make something here. Now y'all know what this is. This is a Tiger One old suspension arm. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your motor tool and this area right here you're going to cut that off even with that flange right there so what you wind up with is just that little tube part just right there. Alright next thing you're going to do is you're going to take one of the six millimeter BB's you're going to cut it in two. Okay so that's what you got. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to file and cut a hole well not cut a hole but widen the hole in there so this will fit in that little tube right there so that fits flush flush alright no big deal right there okay now with the tube you cut from the suspension arm you're going to take on the American and you're going to widen the hole on his neck so that that tube fits flush right in here fits flush and as straight as it can be alright and then once you've got it you're happy with it what you're going to do is you're going to CA it from the bottom now a word of caution here do not let zip kicker or any accelerator contact those BB's okay trust me they turn brittle and fall apart pretty amazing science but you can see there's your flange or your neck joint rounded it out just a little bit you don't want the BB falling through you just want it nested in there real nice that's going to be your pivot alright that's going to reduce your friction make a smoother operation alright alright let's get this little fella put together now with a bit of brass rod and you know what I could give you sizes but whatever you want to use is just hunky dory with me okay I've drilled a hole in the center of the BB half inserted rod not glued anything yet not glued a thing. Also in the head, drill a hole. Once again, you want this to fit in there real snug. You don't want to glue it because you're going to be adjusting them later. But you're going to insert your wire in here. And I'll show you how to do that. Here we go. All right, now here's what we got so far. I'm doing this with one hand. But you can see, you see where that goes into that little uh, joint you made right there and there's your BB alright got this guy together nothing's glued yet remember don't want to glue nothing yet because you can be adjusting and as you can see nice smooth head motion oh, sorry it's hard to do this with one hand nice smooth head motion okay and from the back side, that's all we've got going on so far. That's it. All right. And we'll do part two here real soon, I promise.